What's up, people? Guess what? I'm back! Ha! Alright, so today we are getting, of course, closer and closer into the holiday season. So I got this nice little song playing for in the background. So if you have to know what that is, feel free to send it to me. We're going to be talking about uh, a few different little lessons here today. This is going to be a, a quick one. Well, the next few, next few are going to be pretty quick. We're going to be talking about a couple different two-step equation things because, of course, we've been working on that with our parameter problems. And now we're going to step it up a little bit and make things a little harder and take some of that stuff we did even before that when we are talking about the distributive property and all that jazz and kind of start tying some of that together in the equation world. So let's get right down to it. We'll get back to that later. Okay. So uh, first thing I want to do is just talk to you a little bit, if you will, on your paper. We're going to talk about some different words in each category and we're going to do this over the next couple times too just to kind of refresh it and talk about it uh, that mean these because we're going to have some word problems and so in each category we're just going to throw down some words in here that are going to mean add subtract multiply and divide if you happen to see those in some word problems so of course the number one add word that you'll normally see is sum all right if you see the word sum that means add uh, then another good one you'll probably see is increase and uh, more than that kind of thing. Uh, there, there's a ton of them, but that, that's just a, that's just a good start. So if we go to subtract words, okay, subtract words would be uh, of course the the big one is a difference for subtract, and then of course what's the opposite of increase? Uh, that would be decrease. So if you see decrease, that's a subtract word. And more than, what's the opposite of more than? Well, the opposite of more than is less than. Hey, anybody know some two colors I'm writing with? Hey, I got the red and green going on. All right. Ho, 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 ho. All right. Over here on multiply words. So sums, big add word, difference, big subtract word. Mark, multiply is normally product. Hope you know that. The product, product of so-and-so would mean multiply. Uh, of course, you know times and things like that. But I would say, uh, if you see the word double, or triple, something like that. Double means, of course, times two. Triple would mean type times three, that kind of stuff. And uh, let's take it over there to some divide words. All right, so uh, if we got sum for add, difference for subtract, products multiply, the big qu uh, divide word normally is quotient. So we got that, uh, how much something each is, or per. Now, per is a, is a tough word, okay? Normally it means divide, but sometimes you could put it over here on, on the multiply side too. So at least we got us a little start here on some different words that mean add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And as we go through it, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll add, probably add some more to it over these next few lessons. All right. Now, let's get into some real math stuff, okay? Not just words. Let's put some numbers down. All right. So your assignment today is going to be this little joker right here, books never written, okay? So uh, there are some down, uh, m most of the ones at the top, you know, we'll hit on uh, at least one or two of them. But the ones I'm more worried about are the ones down here that's got the divide in them that we haven't done yet. And then, of course, we've got a couple word problems down here. So I'm going to give you some examples of some of those, and we'll hit over those here in the next seven or eight minutes or so. So I'm going to uh, basically take some of these and just change them up just a hair and give you something that's similar but not exactly like that, okay? So let's say we had this. Let's say we had negative 2a minus 9 equals 39. Okay? So, just like we've been talking about with our parameter problems, again, I would suggest using the train track method. The first thing we want to get rid of is the add or subtract part. Okay? You want to cancel that out first. So, to do that, of course, you would want to cancel out the minus 9 with a plus 9. And that would be a plus 9, of course. These two are going to zero out, so they disappear. Booyah! We're going to trot the negative 2a down here. Equals 39 plus 9 is 40 and 8. All right, so there's step one. Got to cancel out the add or subtract part, okay? Then, of course, that's multiply. So we're going to do the inverse of that. To cancel out multiply, of course, that means we're going to divide. So we're going to divide by negative 2 on the left side of the equation which means we got to divide by negative 2 on the right side of the equation. Of course, those two negative 2's cancel out because a negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. 
48 divided by negative 2. Now again, that's a positive divided by negative. And a positive divided by a negative is going to give me a negative. How much negative is it going to give me? Well, that would be negative 20 and 4. Okay? Negative 24 for that one. I think y'all y'all probably pretty good with that. I probably, uh, I'm probably i feeling like y'all should have a pretty good hold on that. So let's go down to one like some of these that you haven't done yet. Okay? That are the ones that look like this. Okay? Like down here in this little section. All right. So let's say we've got one like this. How about k over 15 minus 20 equals negative 17. Okay, so this has got a little bit different look to it. We haven't done anything like this quite yet. So this is, you know, this is the new one. So again, train track method. Okay, I want to get rid of the minus 20. So to cancel out the minus 20, I'm going to do plus 20 on both sides. So over here, the ne negative 20 and the positive 20 cancel out to make a zero pair. Negative 17 plus 20, okay? Again, those are different signs. So when you've got different signs, you really subtract that. So re really, that problem is 20 minus 17, which is going to give you negative uh, positive 3, sorry. And then you just trot the K divided by 15 down here. All right, so pay attention. Hey, wake up. Wake up. All right, here you go. So this is dividing. So to cancel that out, okay, that is actually like 1 15th. So you have to multiply by the reciprocal of that, which would be 15 over 1, which means over here i got to multiply by 15 over 1. Okay? What's, you know, 15 divided by 15? Well, again, you know, those are going to cancel out. So the 15 divided by 15, they cancel out to a 1. Over here, what's 3 times 15? Well, that's going to give me K equals 45. If I take that and put it back up uh, up here, okay, 45. If I put the 45 up there, 45 divided by 15 would be 3. And 3 minus 20, okay, 3 minus 20 would give me negative 17. Okay, so you can, just like we talked about earlier, you can take that answer, put it in there, and check it out. All right, but again, the key here is to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, multiply by the reciprocal. All right, let's do one more of these where we got to multiply by the reciprocal. What do you say? I say yes. Okay, let's say we got this one. N divided by 3 plus 1 equals 12. All right, so again, we use the old train track method. Chuck, 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 chuck. We want to get rid of the plus one first. Okay, cancel that out. So, that, of course, the opposite of adding one would be subtracting one. Got to do that on both sides. One minus one, of course, is zero. So those cancel out. So they're gone. Twelve minus one, easy enough. All right, eleven. Now we're going to try the n divided by three down here. All right, again, the opposite of dividing is multiplying. So I'm going to multiply that by three over one. Okay, because basically, you know, there's a there's a one out in front of that n right there, so you just take and use the reciprocal. So take that one third, multiply by the reciprocal, which would be three over one, which means over here I got to multiply by three over one. These, of course, cancel out. Three divided by three is one, so that just cancels out to a one. So now I've got n equals what's eleven times three? Thirty-three. If you want to check it, you take the thirty-three and you write it right there. 33 divided by 3 is 11, and 11 plus 1 is 12. Okay, 11 plus 1 equals 12, and you know you got it right. All right, before I do any more, I have today's riddle of the day. If you've made it to this point, you've been with me for nine minutes, thank you very much. All right, here's your riddle for some extra credit today. So holiday riddles coming up here over the next few. Today's is what does Santa suffer from when he gets stuck in a chimney? What does Santa suffer from when he gets stuck in a chimney? All right, it's a condition. All right, he gets, it's a condition he suffers from. So if you know what Santa suffers from when he gets stuck in, in a chimney, send me that condition. You can also send me the name of the song from earlier if you want to do that. Hey, and again, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Appreciate that. All right, let's continue on. Now, that leaves us down here with uh, 
time to do another one of these dividing ones, and then we're going to do a word problem, and that'll be all for today, sports fans. All right, I'm up to 10 minute mark, so I got about a little time left. Let us say we've got this one. We've got one that's got a negative variable up here, negative n over five minus six equals negative 10. All right, so we're going to make it a little bit harder this time, throw some negatives and whatnot in there. All right, are you ready? This is important stuff now. Don't go to sleep on me. Wake up, baby. All right, so again, the first thing we're going to want to get rid of is the subtract part. So I'm going to add 6 to both sides. Negative 6, positive 6, they cancel out. They're gone. Negative 10 plus 6, they're different signs. So you subtract them, really. Take the sign of the bigger number. So negative 10 plus 6 would be negative 4. Try the negative n over 5 down here. Now watch this, okay? Since there is a negative here, okay, that means I got to multiply by a negative reciprocal. You got me? Got to multiply by a negative reciprocal. So again, I'm going to multiply by negative 5 over 1, which over here means I'm going to multiply by negative 5 over 1. So when you've got the negative there, you got to multiply by a negative reciprocal. All right, now, that means, of course, these are going to cancel out. A negative times a negative, of course, is a positive, so that just cancels all that out. Just leaves you with n. Over here, a negative times a negative, of course, is a positive, and a negative times a negative is a positive, and 4 times 5 is 20. All right, so there you go. So that would be 20. If you want to check that out, you put the 20 right there. Negative 20 divided by 5 is 4. I'm sorry, negative 4. And negative 4 minus 6 would give you negative 10. So negative 20 divided by 5 is negative 4. And then negative 4 minus 6 would give you negative 10. You know you got that one right. So make sure if it's got a negative sign with the variable like that does, make sure you multiply by a negative reciprocal. Final question. All right, let's do one of these word problems. So we got a couple of these little word problems down here at the bottom. You can see the word problems down here. All right. So let's do one that says, I'll, I'll write one real fast, the quotient of a number and negative 3 decreased by 7 is 8. Find the number. All right, now, hopefully you can see all that now. The quotient of a number and negative three decreased by seven is eight. Find the number. All right, so let's go through and see what we got here. So quotient, if we go back to what we had earlier, okay, quotient is a divide word, okay? So I'm gonna put a little divide sign for that. And decreased, if I look at that, Decrease is a subtract word, okay? So I'm gonna put a little subtract sign for that. Now let's write this a little two-step equation and solve it. You ready? So the quotient of a number in three, or the quotient of a number in negative three would be written like this. N divided by negative three, okay? So just write it like a fraction, just like you see in some of these other problems. Decrease by seven, that means subtract seven, is eight, that means equals eight. Okay, so wherever you see the is part, that's the equals. So the quotient of a number in negative three, just write it like a fraction, decreased by seven is minus seven, is eight, means equals eight. All right, let's put some train tracks on this bad boy. All right, so we got a minus seven there. That means we need to add seven to both sides. Those are gonna cancel out. Eight plus seven, of course, easy enough, 15. Then just bring this down here. I got n divided by negative three. So that means I got to multiply by the reciprocal of that. Okay, the reciprocal of that would be negative three over one. And over here, that means I've got to multiply by negative three over one. What happens to those negative threes right there? They're going to cancel out. Okay, so negative three divided by negative three is one, leaving me with just n, which is what I want. I want my variable by itself. 15 times negative three would be negative 45, because a positive times a negative equals a negative. All right, 
Hope that helps you out. I'm right on time. Good luck with it today. We're going to be working on this a couple days. Make sure you got all your little words written down. Okay, make sure you got all your little words. Know which ones they mean. If we see some more in some of these other questions, we'll just add them to the list. So make sure you got a good list going there. Hope you have a great day. If you got any questions, email me. If you know some answers for some extra credit, email me. You know how to do it. Until next time. Ciao.